Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Water at room temperature is placed in a freezer. The specific heat capacity of water is twice the specific heat of ice. Okay, so water at room temperature is placed in a freezer. So actually there is no ice there. There is only water that we have in a beaker. So we just keep it in the freezer and now it is losing its temperature. The temperature is falling. So obviously this is the initial temperature and the initial temperature is not given. So whatever it is, like let us say 25 degrees centigrade, just assuming. Obviously if it is in the freezer, now the temperature starts falling and up to this, the temperature becomes zero degrees centigrade. And after that, the phase change starts. So in the process of phase change, we know that uh, the energy is lost, but the temperature is kept constant. So at this point, it is zero degrees C water. And at this point, it is zero degrees C ice. And now the uh, temperature is further reducing because my all of the water has been converted into ice now. And now again, we're talking about sensible heating or sensible cooling. This is called sensible heating. This is latent heating. Latent and sensible. So sensible heating or sensible cooling when the temperatures are actually changing. So now this uh, temperature moves down. So let us say it goes into the negative. So minus five degree centigrade. So first of all, like A option, uh, C and D, and obviously B, I can't see it, but I will move it. So all the options are looking similarly, but the only thing is that the slope is different. Like for example, in D option, you see the slope is sharper, but here the slope is um, a little slant. So in B option, let me move myself. Yeah, in B option, this slope is uh, slant comparatively, and this is um, steep. Okay, so this is ice and this we're talking about water. So obviously it is given that the specific heat of water is twice bigger than the specific heat of ice. It means that water would be absorbing more heat uh, for uh, changing the temperature by the same degrees. So if you want the same delta T, you need more heat in the case of water. So obviously it will be slower because it has to gather more heat. But in the case of ice, uh, by emitting less heat, by removing less heat, the temperature is falling at a faster rate. So definitely the answer will be B for us. So this is the reason and hence the answer is B. Okay, dear students, this is Professor Varun and please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share the YouTube channel with all your friends. And my dear students, I am also present on Discord. So you can join my server there and you can submit all your doubts there and all doubts will be solved free of cost. All the best. Bye.